morning. Today is Saturday. Yes, yeah, Saturday. Um, I am headed to the fair today. I know it probably seems like I go to a lot of fairs. I'm not even a huge fan of fairs, but my friends wanted to go, so I said, okay. Before I leave, I have to reprint some of my take-home folder labels because one of my students' names was put in wrong into the computer. So as a pre-K teacher, if you're a pre-K teacher or a kindergarten teacher, you know that that means you'll be relabeling things for like six weeks. So that's fun. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. It's just, you know, like once you have it all done and you're like, oh, it's all done. And then you have to go back and redo them. That's not cool. But I also printed out my turn and talk poster and I could have sworn that I printed it out and laminated it already But apparently I didn't so I printed it out again So I'm going to laminate these before I go and watch a couple of YouTube videos and I do plan on taking You with me today. So as long as the weather is nice, maybe I can show you a little bit of the fair Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Hello everyone, it is Sunday. I look like a s <laughs> I look like a hot mess. Um, it has been so rainy and cold out today. Literally, it's in the 50s. I wanna cry. I need to move to Florida or something, I don't know. Um, I got a teensy bit distracted watching um, Pocketful Primaries vlog. Um, so I kind of just sat on the couch and relaxed and watched that. I have been drinking coffee. Um, Amazon pantry is like my new favorite thing. Um, I currently am about to leave to go to Target to do like a back to school grocery haul. Before I leave, I'm just going to look and see like if I can find a recipe for anything interesting to bring to like a picnic type thing um that we're going to tomorrow that we i'm going to tomorrow um i did want to show you i didn't bring you to the fair it was so crowded and i, I literally you couldn't walk without being bumped into somebody so i didn't want to like break my camera also this is i think going to be in like the new vlog so <laughs> you won't see this until next week's vlog but that's why i didn't show you the fair um i've been working on some things for school oh i bought these yesterday i'm really excited about them they're a little bit big on me but i figure it's better to be like a smidgen big than way too small um i put if you saw on my instagram i posted this but i put my like sit spots these aren't like i don't know what these are these are like lakeshore something I don't know what these actually are, but I don't use them for these. I flip them over and I put their names on them and I have them sit on their spots at the carpet. I usually, I think last year I didn't start that until a little bit into the year, but it helps them with name recognition and it helps with like talking problems and it helps that when I do turn and talks that I have kids next to each other that I know will actually be able to speak to each other and not just stare at each other like this. Cause sometimes that happens so i can control that that way also their spots don't say the same at all i switch them every single day so there's that and on some days i just let them choose where they sit but it definitely helps with behaviors and definitely like a good classroom management tip i just put them in my dishwasher and they're like really nice and clean now and they didn't get ruined i was a little bit concerned they were gonna get ruined but they're all good. So I'm gonna go to Target. I'm going to do like my grocery shopping. I'm going to come back and I'll do a little haul for you when I get back. Hi, so I am finally back from my grocery adventure. Um, it is almost 8.30. Sorry, the lighting is so bad. I like, it's dark and uh, everything's all glary. So I'm sorry about that. But I felt like I did really well. At Target, I spent around 80 ish dollars, and then at Hannaford, I spent around 20, dollars and I'm exhausted. Like, 
Also, if I hadn't had to buy like the couple of things that I needed to make like the dip for tomorrow, then I would have been well under $100 for the week, week and a half. So that's good. So let me show you what I got. Um, mostly everything was from Target and mostly everything had cartwheel deals. So this is what I got. Um, these soups, I had a 75 cent coupon and they were also on sale for I want to say $2 a can. So I got two of the Mediterranean style uh, like wedding soup. I got one of the butternut squash and one chicken noodle. I also picked up some tuna and I've been wanting to try a tuna that's like more sustainable and like closer to being like organic and whatever. So this is the Simply Balanced tuna. It was a little bit more expensive. I want to see how it is. Uh, this I picked up at Hannaford. It's the nature's place like free from a bunch of artificial stuff bread and I just got it sliced. I also picked up this teriyaki stir fry. The sauce is right in there. I figured this would be a really easy dinner that could be taken again for, for um, lunch. It says it literally takes five minutes to cook and I already had rice. So I figured that would be a really easy dinner idea for the first week of school. I picked up some bananas and some grapes for breakfast and lunches. I also picked up a couple of these wee yogurts that I have really been liking. I had a cartwheel for 30% off of these. So I thought that was a good deal. I also got two things of the shredded mozzarella cheese. It was on sale for $2 a pack and I had a cartwheel for 5% off. I also picked up a thing of the organic pizza sauce. They didn't have the kind in the can that I like. I forget what brand it is, but this was 5% off on cartwheel, and I picked up some Parmesan cheese so that I could make pizza, and I picked up just some local um, pizza dough at Hannaford. I also grabbed flour tortillas because I still have yet to make tacos. Um, I picked up two of these against the grain, um, flatbread pizzas. I, um, used to be gluten-free, like I still should be gluten-free, so when I see things that I haven't tried before, I'll try them. I tried this a couple weeks ago, and it was so good. Um, the ingredients are, like, really, I looked at them, where, oh, there's nothing in there that's, like, really, like, not normal food and also they're only 300 calories for the whole pizza so i really enjoyed this last time so i picked up two i'm gonna have one tonight for dinner and then i'll have another one for when i don't feel like making dinner the amy's dinner meals were on sale again so i picked up three more of those to bring for lunches at school i picked up a bag of apples from just like a local orchard that was at hannaford I also picked up three things of the organic low sodium chicken broth. I wanted to make this soup that takes two of them and then I wanted the third one to make another soup. I make a lot of soups in the fall. They were on sale for $2.50 and then 5% off on cartwheel. I also picked this up. This is only about $5 and I've picked it up for dinner before. It's really good. You make your own pa pasta sauce from scratch with the tomatoes and the spices in here really really good um i picked up these like breakfast bars um chia seeds are like super good for you and i like to put them in stuff and i buy the chia drinks a lot so i figured these would be good um they're only 100 calories a bar and they were half off on cartwheel so i figured i would try those Chia drinks and pouches were 30% off on cartwheel, so I picked up Green Magic. I usually like to get, I think it's like blue raspberry or something, but they didn't have it. Not blue raspberry, like, I don't know. They didn't have it. It's purple. Um, I picked up a thing of organic instant oatmeal. I grabbed this one because, well, there is a good amount of sugar. I should have looked at that, but the sugar is actual sugar and not like fake sugar. So that's why I went with that one. Um, I also picked up a thing of these Annie's Peely Fruit Tapes. I like to bring these in my lunch like a child. And the reason why I like them is because there's no added sugar. The sugars that are in them are like all natural. And of course it won't focus because I have it all crooked. But 
I promise I'm telling the truth. I also picked up a pack of the small packages of the Simply Cheetos um, because I want to bring them for lunches. There are 12 of them in there and they were only $4.50 and that was like a better deal than buying the big bag and splitting them up. And I also bought on Amazon the Smart Food Delight and there's a pack of 12 of these and they were only like $3.50 on Amazon. So I'll have some choices. This is my pantry by the way. I stacked up on some Annie stuff a couple weeks ago because it was all on sale. But that way I'll be able to have... Um, Cheetos and whatever I don't know for lunch and it'll be easy um, also this is what I picked up to make buffalo chicken dip so I got two other things of the mozzarella the cream cheese was 5% off on cartwheel and so was the simply balanced um, no antibiotics uh, chicken breast um, I don't eat chicken, so I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of these, but that's for the dip for tomorrow. I'm sure somebody will eat them. They're individually wrapped, which I thought was pretty cool. And this package was only $3, so, or not $3, $6, which I thought was a really good deal. So, I'm going to have dinner and put all these groceries away, and then I'm probably going to turn in for the night, but I will update you tomorrow on what I'm working on and how I'm getting ready for school because our first day that staff has to report back is on Tuesday, so it's coming soon. First week of school has begun. Yay, I think, hopefully. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, and I'm going to talk to you really quickly because I'm just about to head out the door. Um, I will show you quickly what I was working on this morning. I look like, I don't know. It is what it is, right? So I was working on just like an interactive math notebook um, to make for my own class. And I don't know, I don't know. I've made up to the number five and I think that I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna test it out and see how it works. Um, I don't really know exactly how I wanna do it, but let me show you what I have so far. So here is what I've created. So this is the cover and I just made the PowerPoint the size of a um, composition notebook. And then I'm thinking, so I will cut this part out and paste it onto the page that I want the children to work on. And then I will have them cut out this part and paste it on and I could help them with this part. But I really think that it's good for pre-K, like for cutting skills, to work on cutting at least one of these parts out. Like even if I have this pasted and this pasted and then they just do this part in between, I think that that might be how I will do it. So then I have a slide like tens frame and then define the number, write it, and then a dot the number. So I did that for every single number up to five. And like I said, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, you see that mess back there too? That's cool, that's for school. So yeah, I don't know if that's how it's going to stay, if that's what I'm gonna stick with, but I kind of like the way that it seems like it's gonna work, and then if it does work, I'll go ahead and go all the way up to 10, and then eventually post it at my Teachers Pay Teachers store, but I wanna make sure that it's something that's actually usable before I post it anywhere and before like I continue creating any more numbers. Um, also, I'm about to head out the door. I have like this like, picnic-y type thing to go to today. So I will show you my outfit quick. This is definitely something that I would wear to school because the skirt is a skirt. So let me show you. Hopefully, I don't know. Is it too dark for you to see? A little bit maybe. There we go. So I just have on, I, I would not wear this to school without this uh, sweater on, but today I'm probably gonna take it off because it's pretty warm out. It's gonna be like 80 something I think. But I just have on a tank top with this Lily Pulitzer skirt, but it's actually a skirt. It has shorts underneath it. Um, and this denim, white denim jacket from Old Navy and those gold sandals from Target. 
The necklace was a gift. I'm not really sure where it came from. I wish I knew. I'm sorry. Um, but I have found them on Etsy because I thought about buying another one because I really like it because it's just like super plain and I don't know. It's like a go-to necklace for me and it matched this really well so I decided to wear it. So this is what I'm wearing today. Again, like I said, this is definitely an outfit I would wear to school but I have to get going and I will check in with you a little bit later. By the way, tomorrow is our first like school day. Like, um... There's no students until Thursday, but tomorrow we start our like PD days, but they're like work in your classroom days and we have like a couple meetings and like the district send off type thing. So that is tomorrow. So I will check in with you later. everyone it is Tuesday and I am exhausted it is sorry it's so dark I'm just gonna be in here for a second it is about 6 30 I am going to leave here in a minute I decided that I was going to get up at six o'clock on today and tomorrow because I want to get back in my routine and I usually leave at like 6.20. So I'm just kind of taking my time getting ready. But tomorrow I'm going to try to be more prompt about it. I'm sure on the first day of school it will be fine. Because I will be like kind of a little bit anxious. So I'll be ready to go. But I'm just like really dragging this morning. I'm pretty tired. Um, I can show you my outfit. So this is what I'm wearing today. I decided to wear something a little bit more professional today because we do have that like district send off thing and I just want to make sure that I look professional for that. But um, tomorrow I think I'm just going to wear jeans because we're only going to be in our building tomorrow. So here's what I have on. I just have on um, those gold sandals and these pink um, like jegging type things. Um, and then this lace shirt from Forever 21, I think. And this cardigan from Target. And then I also have a scarf from Target, but I don't know if I'm going to wear it because I'm not really sure how warm it is outside or cold it is outside. So I'm going to get going and I'll check in with you when I get back. Hello, everyone. I am back my first day back at work it was a good day honestly I didn't even think to bring my camera this morning I was really tired and I honestly wasn't even in my classroom at all um I did get some time after school to work in there like a little bit but not really I have laundry still left to fold so I need to do that I just got home um I think I just said that I'm starving and I'm also really freaking tired um, I brought home work, by the way, when I use my teacher bag, I use it to go to meetings and I usually don't use it to go back and forth from school because I just don't bring that much stuff home. So usually what I'll do is I'll bring it home in a folder or like a binder clip, like this really pretty one from Disney World. Um, and I'll just bring that back and forth. Also, it helps me to not bring as much back and forth because I definitely need to cut myself off. From the amount of work that I do at home um so I am excited to get this stuff done um I let me where can I go to yes here so this morning um I worked a little bit well I didn't work at all this afternoon I worked a little bit on um, my, um, what do you call it, my birthday board. I posted it to Instagram. Um, I'm going to work on putting the cupcakes in and I will try to link or like put a picture of what the product was. It was just like a freebie on Teachers Pay Teachers for a printout for cupcakes. I want their names up on the birthday board before school starts. Um, and what else do I have to do? 
I need to prep my kissing hand activity and cut out the hearts for it. I don't know if you can see that. And let's see. I need to cut the white paper in half for their hands. This Astro Brights paper is for the cupcakes. And I also need to print out. Put you down here. I also need to print out um, like transportation slips for all of my kids. And so I have some work to do. But the good news is, is that I still have one full day before the kids are here. So I don't feel overly stressed, but I am going to make some dinner and then I'm going to fold that laundry and then I'm probably going to go to bed. Um, well, after I finish all that work, I will put in some clips after I finish the work if I feel like I have other things that I could share with you that would be helpful for you. So I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so I wanted to give you a quick little update. Um, So, oh my gosh, can you tell how tired I am? I'm like, I... I don't know what my issue is. Well, it's 9 o'clock. I guess it's my bedtime. I need to go to bed. I didn't get to folding that laundry. I'm going to try to get up a little bit early and fold it tomorrow, I think. Because I really want to get that done. I hate it when my apartment turns into a mess. Ugh. Okay. So this is what I did. I cut out a ton of different birthdays. And I also like these um, red things. Can you see those? They're not focusing. But these red things are like um, hearts for this kissing hand activity. It's a freebie. If I remember, I can. I'll try to. I'll insert what it looks like um, in the video. It comes out really cute. Um, and then I also cut my half sheets of paper, um, and I also accidentally cut my class list in half, but you know, it's fine. I can print out another one. So this was my to-do list when I got home tonight, and I actually decided not to work on plans just because I'm going to have tomorrow in the classroom to work on plans, and I like to do that when I have, like, the actual materials in my hand, so I'm going to do that tomorrow in my classroom. I printed so let me show you hopefully it'll focus maybe there so as you can see instead of xing like crossing it out i just put a check mark next to it and that's because even though i finished like i did it at home like i have them all done i still need to like do something with them when i get to school and i don't want to forget so i put a check mark next to birthdays because i um printed out the cupcakes and i just need to put them up on my birthday board um the bus and walker tags i did not print out because i will not know that until the first day of school so that's kind of just going to stay on my list until the end of the day on Thursday when I can add that to the checklist that I have with the bus list as of right now. But again, that might change if parents don't want their child riding the bus because as of right now, I have almost my entire class riding the bus, which is totally like out of the norm for us. Usually it's like the opposite. You have like three or four kids that ride the bus and then three quarters of your class gets picked up. Um, Again, that's like kind of like a blessing and a curse because I do enjoy being able to see my families every day and being able to check in with them. I think that it makes it much easier to form relationships, especially in pre-K. Like I like being able to see them, but it's also nice because if they ride the bus, then it's not possible for the parents to be late to pick them up. So we'll see how that goes. Um, also... Let's see, PTO binder. I have my PTO like sheet thing. Oh my gosh, I can't find my words. I have my PTO like product in my teacher's pay teacher straw. I'll put like a picture of what it looks like in the link down below. Um, but I made one that w went with our building. I guess that's something that I could put up there as like a choice, like pay whatever five dollars extra and get one made like personalized but I just took our school mascot and put it on there and um tried to make it cohesive 
to go with some of the other things in our building. So I put that on my Google Drive so that I can print those out and send some of it to duplicating tomorrow and then put together the binder that I started today. And the bulletin board names I put on a PDF and sent to my Google Drive because I'm out of paper at home. And let's see, plans and prep, I said I was going to wait until tomorrow to do. And I also made myself a note to bring home printer paper because I am all out. So that is going to be it for tonight. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about um, APPR and um, like just like curriculum stuff. For the first half of the day and the second half of the day we're going to have time in our rooms to work. So I will see you tomorrow. I might bring my camera with me to work tomorrow because I might have some extra time in my classroom. So I might bring you with me. We'll see if I have time or if I'm completely overwhelmed. But I'll talk Good to you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Wednesday. I'm just getting ready to leave. Um, I have meetings all morning which is fine it's all like curriculum work stuff and I feel like they'll be productive which is good and then this afternoon I'm going to have time to work in my room hopefully fingers crossed well I mean regardless I'm gonna have to stay until seven o'clock to work in my room so um I have pretty much everything done I mean maybe I don't need to stay until seven o'clock We'll see what happens. Um, I have mostly everything done and I'm excited for the first day. I'm a little bit nervous. I feel like no matter how long you teach, like you're always a little bit nervous for the first day. Like that's gotta be true. Like, cause I feel like it's gotten a little bit better. It's not like my very first year teaching and like the amount of like, nervous that I was but I mean it's definitely I'm still pretty nervous so we'll see how it goes we have oh we have this thing we do in our building it's called pops on the playground um another teacher and I created it last year well not created it but like got the idea from somewhere I can't remember where um and it's just like a really nice opportunity for parents and students to come the day before school and like get to know the rules of the playground and meet all of the staff in the building. But it is supposed to rain today and it's only going to be 60 degrees. So I'm not sure if we're going to switch it to lollipops in the gym. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'll show you my outfit really quick before I go. So this is what I have on today. Um, these pants are from the Talbots outlet. I love the Talbots outlet. Um, you can usually find really good deals there. My shoes are just those black shoes from Target. This shirt is from JCPenney like three or four years ago. It's that Anna Anna brand. And this jacket is from Inc. Um, International design concepts or something like that I can't quite remember but this is my outfit today so I'm going to grab my coffee and I actually don't need to pack a lunch or a breakfast because they're both being provided to us today which is super exciting and I'm going to do that and then go to ShopRite on my way into school to pick up food for the potluck lunch. Hello everyone it is Oh my god, I could go to sleep right now. It is Thursday, no, Wednesday night, the night before the first day of school. And I just finished typing up my plans. Now, I should make it known that although I just finished typing up my plans, that does not by any means mean that... Um, I didn't know what I was doing before now. Like I did for the most part know kind of, sorry, it keeps getting dark. I did for the most part know what, I, I'm sorry, I don't really wanna show you my sweatshirt cause it has our school name on it, but you can see our dragon, he's really cute. Um, I did for the most part know what I wanted to do, but 
I was having some major issues with planbook.com, but the people there were so sweet. Um, I spoke to one person in particular, his name was Justin. He dealt with me having my meltdowns um, about thinking that my plans were lost and he really helped me and stayed calm while I was being like an irrational teacher the week before school. So I really appreciated that. I think that um, it really is a great system, just sometimes technology has flaws. But now that it's all set and he was so patient with me and I was able to get everything fixed, I am much happier about the whole situation and my plans are actually typed up now, so that is great. Um, I have a lot planned for the first day. I'm aware of that. Um, I like to plan a lot that way if I run out of time, it's fine, but if I run out of activities and I don't run out of time, it's not fine. So I'd much rather have more planned than not enough. I'm gonna just turn you around um, and show you what I have planned. I know it's annoying looking through a computer screen like this, but I really don't have time or the energy to film it via my computer. So I have the question of the day and the question of the day on the first day, I always ask, are you excited for school? This first day, I am not, oh, the second day, I asked, do you like school so far? Um, the first day, I'm not introducing any of these things. Oh, my battery just died in my mouth. That's great. I'm probably not, yeah, that's not good. I can't scroll to see you, show you the rest. But I don't introduce letter of the week, number, color, whatever, until the end of the week. Um, so I'll start introducing some of the songs tomorrow or Friday. Uh, the first day I always read The Kissing Hand. I love that book. I just, I, I don't know. I do like first day jitters. I did that with fourth graders because The Kissing Hand is too young for them. But I just, I really like The Kissing Hand. Um, so let's see. It won't let me scroll like this either because I'm not, oh, it's working now. I don't know. I'm throwing fits over everything. I'm sorry. The next thing we're doing is they're going to do their handprints. Um, this is not my picture. I don't know where that came from. Probably off of Pinterest somewhere. Um, basically, we paint their hand. We stamp it on the paper. And while they're doing that, they're going to be working on their crowns in their first day um, things. Actually, I should add that in. Give me one second. Okay, so I couldn't get that to work. I will go over that tomorrow with you. I need new batteries in my mouth and I'm just like, I'm not feeling it. I'm so, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm over it. So these are the three outfits that I had chosen. So I was thinking about maybe this dress and then I thought maybe this dress and then I finally was like, oh, this one would look nice. Yes, I do teach pre-K. Yes, that plan is dead. I think I killed it, but I do like to dress very professionally on the first day. I think that it gives a really good, um, I don't know, just first impression to the parents um, and the students. I feel like no matter what grade level, if you dress the part, they really do like respect you. I don't know, like, I, just, I really strongly feel that way. So I think I'm going to go with the blue one because I did like ask a few people what they thought and the consensus was the blue one was the best. I have quite the mess over here with clothes that I need to be put away and then I need to get in the shower and then I think I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired and basically I'm ready for bed. So I will... Talk to you tomorrow morning, first day of school. Good morning, today is the first day of school. I have about no time, so I just wanted to pop on really quick just to kind of say like it's my first day and I'm ready to go. Um, I'm excited and like nervous at the same time. Also, um, I know I said I don't usually wear makeup to school, which I don't, but I am wearing makeup today mainly because 
Um, I look very like extremely young without makeup and I always have parents commenting on that. Um, so I figured like if I put on some makeup today, hopefully maybe we could keep those comments at bay. So I'll show you what I'm wearing. Um, I have this, it's like, hmm, I don't know if you can focus. Well, it doesn't want to focus, but I have this sweater on and it's like textured. This was from, um, Target. I have this navy dress on. I don't know how I feel about the zippers. I wish it was just plain, but this is from Calvin Klein. I have my gold sandals on from Target. My hair is just half up in a clip to kind of keep it mostly out of my face. And I have this little tassel necklace on from J. Crew. But I am ready to go. It's the first day. So I will check in with you. Good morning. It is the second day of school and I'm just about to leave. But I wanted to show you quickly, hopefully, what I plan on doing today. Um, I was so tired last night I didn't even pick up the camera I was exhausted um I ate dinner I didn't get home until I want to say almost seven o'clock I got home I ate dinner and then I went to bed so nothing very exciting there I did make this though which I wanted to show you now um a teacher that teaches in kindergarten did this activity yesterday with her kids and I thought it was really good she read this one of those the crayons the day the crayons quit books there's like a ton of them there's one with numbers I'm going to read that one to my kids today this is like a little extra activity I don't anticipate it taking forever but you never know because it's pre-k um, it's basically a lesson geared to teach the children um, like uh, how to care for the crayons how to use them properly and also like how we should be coloring with them like we're not just scribbling um i know that that's all that some of my students are capable of right now but it is good to expose them to what they're going to be expected to do once they are able to do that so i basically just hmm, this has all their names but let me see i'll show you like Oh, you can see my double chin. That's good. I'll just show you one, like, close up. So, for example, like, if the child's name was Kelly, they would get this paper after we talked about expectations, and they would have to try to color in their name in the lines. And then what that teacher did after, so not only was it a crayon like how to use crayons activity. It also was a name recognition activity. And then she took those names and turned them into an anchor chart. And then also had all the names of the class displayed like in the room. And it was a really nice example of student work. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm also reading how do dinosaurs get to school and doing a how to get to, how we got to school graph. And I'm also reading, rereading The Kissing Hand and we're doing a sequencing activity. Um, in between that, we're just really, really pushing routines. Um, and that's another reason why I'm doing so many activities is so that um, they can get their routines down. I'll show you my outfit quick and then I need to get out the door. Um, I am just wearing khaki pants today with black flip flops. I have our school sweatshirt on and just a tank top. When I get to school, we will have those shirts that we made. Um, they just didn't come in until last night and my coworker is bringing them in today. So, I need to find my keys and then I'm out of here. I'll check in with you tonight though because obviously I don't need to be up early for Saturday. So, I'll talk in the morning. It is Sunday. Um, I am sitting down right now at my computer to put together the vlogs. I think that I have two weeks worth of vlog footage on my camera right now. I have the like 
two weeks ago I have it like halfway edited because I added some of it on and started the vlog and then I have this full week's vlog footage on there and then I also wanted to film you a tutorial for those tens frames that I made and a favorites video um, just of youtubers and um I think I have like first week of school teacher brain. <laughs> Resources on Teachers Pay Teachers and favorite YouTubers because I had some requests for those two videos. So I'm going to work on those and hopefully get those uploaded today. Well, like scheduled. And I will probably upload one vlog today. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I'm going to work on that now. I can show you quickly. I finished all of my plans. I am back to being happy with planbook.com. I have like a love-hate relationship with uh, technology. Sometimes technology is my friend. Sometimes technology drives me insane. But today I was able to get my plans done so quickly. Look, they're all done. How exciting is this? Look, oh, let me scroll down so you can kind of see. And if you want to see what I'm doing, you can just like pause so you can read more. Next week is all about me week. So the first week I, oh, and by the way, I left centers for the next three days blank until like I go through the first two days because I want to see how we're doing um, to see what we should do. Um, so the first week that we talk about all about me, it's just like about ourselves. And then next week it's all about emotions. So this is what I have in there. Um, I just went back to last year's plans and I copy pasted into there. So that was fun. I did change some stuff. I don't do the exact same thing from year to year, but, um, I'm doing it pretty similar and I just put in some new things that I'm changing and I changed around some of the worksheets and things that I used last year. So I'm going to edit and upload and I'll talk to you soon. I think this will go in the previous week's vlog, even though Sunday usually starts a new vlog and I'll just start a new one on Monday. So here's getting back into my schedule and I will see you all next week for the first Next week is the first, like, full, full week of school. Um, we have back to school night on Thursday, and yeah, so I will talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. If you like these videos, please be sure to um, like, share, and subscribe so that they can get to as many teachers and interested people as possible. Thank you again for all your support, and I will see you next week. Bye.